Hey, this is day three on our little micro season of prayer and fasting. Probably doesn't feel like a micro season if you've been fasting and praying for three days. But nevertheless, we have taken a season apart, hundreds of us. And if we include those across the nation that have joined us, I'm sure there are thousands of us seeking God and asking him for our next breakthrough. We've seen the hand of God. He mitigated the impact of the virus. There, he has pr protected us and the death rates have been far below what they imagined. Now, one is significant. But there's not millions. God's been good to us. But we're not finished. There's a spirit of confusion and fear that has gripped the throat of our nation. It's not just our nation. It's in our homes. What do we do? How do we do it? We're responding more out of fear than we are faith and confidence and trust. We need God to help us. We're going back to life. We're going back to work and back to worship. We're going to do it with, with wisdom and prudence. But God is going to set us free. This is a season about God's people. It's not about the pagans or the ungodly and what they needed to do. We needed a heart change. We needed a refocus and a repurpose. We're reading the book of Exodus this week. We're demonstrating generosity in the midst of a, of a, of a difficult season. Yesterday, you brought more than 20,000 pounds of food to campus in a four-hour window to help people less fortunate than ourselves. Thank you for your generosity. Tonight at 6 o'clock, we're having a communion service, live stream. We're going to break fast together with the Lord's Supper, recognizing our dependence on the redemptive work of Jesus and the power of the blood of Jesus to ensure our future. God is securing our lives, not the U.S. government. Not the strength of the dollar or our economy. Jesus is on the throne and we're his children on assignment. He's going to help us. I'll see you tonight.